Father in heaven, whom will one day unite us together in eternity. The host of heaven rejoices, and we extend that celebration to saints all over the world as we welcome you all to the 72nd Annual Convention of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Kevin Pius. And my name is Paul Ayodele. And, and we, we are, are citizens, citizens of heaven. We want to welcome all our children, teenagers, parents, pastors, ministers, and our virtual audience watching us all over the world. We would like to appreciate our dear mother in Israel the director of the Directorate of Teens and Children Education, Pastor Mrs. Foluke Adeboye. We also want to thank our beloved daddy, the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adejare Adeboye. The children and teenagers have special presentations for you tonight. We are here for a heavenly experience through the choir ministration, the revelation experience, and dance. If you are ready to experience heaven, jump to your feet. Wave your hands. And shout the loudest hallelujah.
your brother and companion in the suffering and kingdom and patient endurance that are ours in Jesus was on the island of Patmos because of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. On the Lord's day, I was in the spirit and I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet saying, Write on a scroll what you see and send it to the seven churches. I turned to see the voice that was speaking to me. And when I turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. And amongst the lampstands was someone like a son of man, dressed in a robe reaching down to his feet and a golden sass around his chest. His head and hair were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes, his eyes were like blazing fire. His feet were like bronze glowing in a furnace. And his voice, his voice was like the sound of rusting waters. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. And then he placed his right hand on me and said, Not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead and behold, I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and hell. After this, I looked, and there before me was a door open in heaven. And the voice I had first heard like a trumpet said to me, Come up here, and I will show you what must take place after this. At once, I was in the spirit. And there before me was a throne in heaven with someone sitting on it. And the one who sat there had the appearance of jasper and rubies. A rainbow that shone like an emerald and circled the throne. Surrounding the throne were 24 other thrones and seated on them were 24 elders. They wore white and they had crowns of gold on their heads. Day and night, they never stopped saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And whenever the living creatures come to give glory, honor and thanks to the one who sits on the throne, the 24 elders fall for the one who sits on the throne and worships him who lives forever and ever and ever. They lay their crown before him and they say,
of Tatmos. John the Beloved recorded visions that he received from God, sharing the eternal hope and promise of Christ's return. And his faith, unshaken by exile, remains a testament for believers throughout the ages. In Revelation 21 verse 8, the Bible says, but the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, sexually immoral, murderers, sorcerers, and all liars shall have their parts in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone. This is the second death. Heaven's mandate for eternal life is clear that we seek to know God genuinely, understand the power of his love, proclaim the gospel to the ends of the earth, and that we store up our treasures in a place where it cannot be corrupted by moth and will last forever. Let each one of us keep in mind that our time here on earth is only a preparation for our eternal home, heaven. And that one day we will be united with our bridegroom and reign with him for an eternity, just as promised to us by Jesus Christ the Son. We are on a train going to heaven. And just like the disciple John the Beloved, we are on a journey of faith. And when our life when our life here is over, we will answer to God. This is a train of glory. This is a journey of joy. This is
God is worthy to be adored. God is worthy to be glorified. God is good. God is kind. And we will shout a wonderful hallelujah. It is with great pleasure that I invite to the microphone our dear mother in Israel, the director of the Directorate of Teens and Children Education, Pastor Mrs. Folu Adeboye. I believe after watching tonight, even the Hallelujah chorus and song, I believe we shall all sing Hallelujah together in heaven on the last day. For now, we want to receive the Father's blessing from our dear Father, the General Overseer of RCCG worldwide, our mentor, the one who prays for us day and night, the lover of children, the one who is transforming our lives. Help us to welcome the General Overseer of RCCG. It's a clapping ovation. Clap for Jesus. Well, that only, only the children shout hallelujah. I'm sure we are, we are shouting to the ancient of days. And when we compare ourselves to the one who has been before the mountains who are brought forth. I believe we are all children. So let all the children shout hallelujah. Children, you are already blessed. Because the Lord himself said that the kingdom of heaven belongs to you. So all those who are children, once again, shout hallelujah. My Father and my God, the one who says heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. We come together tonight as your children to say thank you. Thank you that we are here today. Thank you that we have the assurance that heaven belongs to us. We thank you especially for those who have chosen tonight to participate in this welcome service. Because they are representing all children. I pray, Lord God Almighty, 
that the life of these your children, heaven will always be present. In their schools, let heaven be present. In their homes, let heaven be always present. In their churches, let heaven always be present. Father, keep the devil far away from them. Keep sickness far away from them. Keep death far away from them. Take care of their parents. Take care of their teachers. Take care of their pastors. And in the kingdom of God, I pray that none of us will be missing. Thank you, almighty God. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. All the children on the way to heaven shout a great, great hallelujah. Why can't we shout heavenly hallelujah? It is time for us as children and teenagers in our CCG to present to our Father in the Lord little presents from small children that we are. Good evening, Daddy. Daddy, this year of convention is heaven. What a beautiful team. Daddy, by the special grace of God, no one in the redeemed Christian Church of God will miss heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. And I want to say, Daddy, with the children of National LP28, we thank you for being a friend, a coach, a teacher, and a pastor. Therefore, we welcome this present for you to remember 2024 Convention. Ah, Daddy, ah, dear Daddy Gio, you are a father of fathers, deaf, faithful. Thank you for always caring about us. A, advisor, your counsel keeps us all on the right track. T, Daddy, our trainer, our coach, our mentor. You have always been training us to be godly and responsible. H, humble. You are an example of humility to copy. E, encouraging. You have always been encouraging us not to give up because you never give up. R, role model. 
daddy. You are a worthy role model to be proud of. We love you, daddy, and we are proud of you. Well, thank you very much. God bless you. Next year, you will do more. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part of these people? Come on, everybody. Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the king. Children. I'm gonna do it. 
what a beautiful night it has been. Glory to Jesus. I think we should celebrate Jesus. Let's put our 